The telescope desperately needs servicing, but only a risky maneuver and three successful spacewalks can ensure the completion of the mission objective. But first, this stark environment looks like Mars. In a way, it is. For planetary scientists at NASA's Ames Research Center, anyway. Here, the scientists specialize in studying life in the universe. Instead of traveling to Mars, these experts are doing the next best thing. This diversified team of scientists has made their way into the remote, dry valleys of western Antarctica near the Ross Ice Shelf. They spend a couple of months each year probing the seemingly lifeless environment for clues to its makeup. Studying this barren and frozen ecosystem allows scientists to approach the investigation of Mars with a more educated eye. The dry valley region is a place where temperatures dip to minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and are rarely above freezing in the summer. What startled researchers when they began their studies about 10 years ago was the discovery that microorganisms were living in the sandstone boulders along the valley wall. More recently, studies have shifted to beneath the rugged surface, which is actually a frozen lake. It's hardly what most of us would consider to be a lake, but nonetheless, after taking ice samples and melting a dive hole 13 feet down into the ice, scientists do find it's liquid.